three nine one one. Add us to the emergency. Yes. Um, uh, my son just called me, and uh, he told me he. Oh my God. It was around 9 Thursday morning when police say Stephen Plato's mother called 911. He killed his, his baby and he's in the house. The woman cries as she tells the dispatcher her son's wife, 20-year-old Katie Plato, broke up with him the day before. She goes on to say Stephen was going to bring their seven-month-old son to New York, where Katie was staying with her adoptive family. He killed his wife. He killed her father. And he, I can't even believe this is happening. Okay. Earlier Thursday morning in New Milford, Connecticut, police say they found Katie and her adoptive father, Anthony Fusco, dead in a pickup truck. A short time later in New York, police found Stephen dead in his car. Plato's lawyer says Katie and Anthony were shot and killed, and then Stephen took his own life. I did not remotely believe that he could harm himself or anybody around him. And when something like this happens, uh, it's a shock. It's disappointing. Katie and Stephen, who were father and daughter, were both facing charges of incest in Virginia after she gave birth to their child. Katie, who'd been adopted, reconnected with her biological parents, even moving in with the couple and their two children in Virginia. We are heartbroken, saddened over the death of this child. And like you, we're trying to make sense of all the factors that led up to this senseless taking of life.